Okay, we got the uh, cow mount plate off. This thing here. And it doesn't look too bad on the back side. Um, we'll blast that all clean. Cage nuts, I think, will be savable. I gotta heat that one out, turn that one out, clean up these um, flange areas. I don't know why I hold my phone so close. Um, clean all this up, primer it, probably undercoat. I don't know. I may just paint it too, uh, just so it's got extra protection for the next 50 years. And this is what came off of this uh, side ear right here fit in here and sandwiched between the floor sandwiched between the floor and this uh, outer a pillar area um, but yeah I'll see how bad the floor is it's you know I'll probably cut it somewhere right in here because I think the new pan comes all the way up all the way up to this area uh, so I'll probably cut it somewhere in here we'll see how it goes uh, all the way over and uh, down. As you can see, it's got a pretty big hole through there. So, hopefully by the end of the day tomorrow, I should have at least this side out. And uh, maybe the new one start to fit the new one in. But yeah, when the new pan goes in, this the new pan will go in, and then the this cowl piece that ear has to sandwich in between there and then get re-spot welded from the inside. Yeah, that wasn't, it must have been 65 spot welds <laughs> on the inside there to hold that thing in. So that's why it takes time to do these. Um, the guys on the line back in the 60s, it's like, yeah, hey, let's throw in a bunch more spot welds so the guy 50 years from now can uh, have a good time taking it apart. Okay.